welcome dear viewers to the video on scale up tech transfer challenges and strategies so as we know that the aim of pharmaceutical research is to develop a product and to transfer it to the commercial site where the product will be manufactured for sale in the market and from r and d to commercial scale there is a transit of technology and transit of the knowledge you can also call it as transfer of the technology and transfer of the research knowledge that's why the product can be made or manufactured at commercial plant and it is commercialized in the market transferring the formulation and technology from a research lab to the production or commercial site or you can call it as manufacturing site involves scale up and technology transfer scale up means increasing the batch size and technology transfer means transferring the knowledge gained during the product development at r&d site to the commercial site scale up and technology transfer is one of the critical stage and it is a complex process in the pharmaceutical research and manufacturing there are lot of challenges lot of criticalities scale up and technology transfer is a transition from lab to the manufacturing area and why this scale up technology transfer and also sometimes the site transfers are done because the aim of pharmaceutical development is the commercial manufacturing and sale of the pharmaceutical formulations in the market there are always challenges and for those challenges the key considerations and strategies are there always in scale up technology transfer and site transfer there is a time and cost considerations these technology transfers scale up activities site transfer activities take time also these things involves the cost every time there is a cost of materials there is a cost of analysis there is a cost of manpower also there there are cost considerations because there are chances of the failures so some challenges are there and also some strategies are there to overcome those challenges now we will see why these criticalities are there so material supply and readiness for the manufacturing of new raw materials and the apis because these products are new to the manufacturing site that's why the new formulations involve new technology new excipients and new raw materials including the drug substances for the manufacturing site many of the times as the new formulations are being developed at research and these are transferred to the manufacturing site many of the raw materials and apis are new for that site then raw material variation in cma and testing there might be the chances of variations in the critical material attributes like particle size of the api or excipients then viscosity is in the viscosity in the polymers then also there are some variations in the testing equipment availability occupancies and batch size determinations become very much critical sometimes the equipments which are required for the scale up and technology transfer and commercial production these equipments are not available at the manufacturing site because these new products are being transferred that's why sometimes 
new equipments are required then how much is the occupancy of that equipment for its successful running then basic considerations are there and if you increase the batch sizes that time cost considerations are there batch size is also governed by the regulatory requirements now equipment and change part discrepancies from r&d to production this may lead to a problem whatever the equipments you have used at r&d that may or may not be available in similarity at the commercial site change parts are required to be procured sometimes change parts are required to be developed for manufacturing and the packaging regulatory considerations are there for the products which are to be developed considering the global market or multiple market then the batch yields and quality similarity of the product from r&d to commercial scale many of the time the product behavior and drug product cqs change or vary from the research batch to the commercial scale up batch or scale up batch or exhibit batch in site transfers also some variations may happen like if you consider the capsule formulation tablet formulation that time variations may happen in the assay contain uniformity and dissolution so these are the challenges again scale of effect large quantity of the material and big batch sizes behavior differences that is also called as mass effect so in r&d generally up to kilo or in kg quantity is processed but whenever you are going for scale up and technology transfer site transfer that time the material quantity is big it is not in a small quantity the processes are done at very big batch sizes so these differences may have a great impact on to the formulation and process behavior then the material may behave differently even in the big batch size or in big quantity handling the material in grams and kgs is comparatively easy compared to the batch quantities in hundreds of kg at commercial site so the material behavior may be change equipment efficiency differences from lab to scale up size many of the time it is observed that the equipment design is same the operating principle is same you are also keeping the occupancy is same as you have studied or optimized in the r&d but still there are differences from lab to the commercial site and that may be because of the mixing efficiency differences effect of the temperature or parameters effect of the air flow air pressure and heat transfer there are many many parameters which have the impact automation and material handling in scale up is too different from manual handling in the research phase generally in r&d the materials are handled by the skilled persons and in very less quantity but in the commercial setting there are automatic devices so that different that difference in the material handling is there people involved in the unit operations of scale up are of different experience compared to the people working in the research so generally in research the people who are working they are working as a scientist they are handling the material in smaller quantities and also in generally generally in research the same person work on the same product but in commercial setting different people are involved so their handling their training their education level may have a impact the plants are highly regulated than the r&d this is one of the most important thing that in r&d 
the regulations are less compared to the plant then training and knowledge transfer so now we come to the point for key considerations to have a successful scale up and technology transfer so now we have seen the challenges and now we will see how we can improve the scale up and technology transfer activities and how we can get the best outcome training and knowledge transfer is the key and training and knowledge transfer should be there for the formulation and technology then involvement of the cross functional team members and discussion should be there for utilization of the experience of the cross functional team members many people may have different approaches different experience level and different way of looking towards the same problem so involve and train the people who are working on to the same product then in depth understanding of the formulation process key process parameters critical process parameters and critical material attributes whenever you are going for scale up and technology transfer or site transfer that time the understanding of these cmas and cpps are most important then risk assessment for the scale up always there should be a risk assessment in hand for getting the scale up activity utilize the guidelines for scale up parameters or scale up effects always calculate the parameters based on the scale up principles use the scale up factors for critical process parameters then use the prior experience and exposure whatever is gained on the similar processes like wet granulation tau spray granulation or rooster processing so prior experience and knowledge should be utilized planning and follow up is the key for scale up and technology transfer so that is for the time management then identify the time consuming stages trial in the research to understand the critical stages and parameter ranges are important to have the good understanding of the scale up stage wise testing and learning for improvement of the process in the next stage if you are working on the product at very first time in the in the commercial plant then do step by step don't do all the step at a time do first step then check the parameters study the parameters test the product and then go for the next stage so that you can fine tune if required process optimization and fine tuning of the critical process parameters to get the process quality and to get the product quality as per the predetermined specifications always in the scale up if one unit operation is done that time the process is required to be relooked the product is required to be tested and then the next process is to be done sometimes the multiple strategy formulations are considered based on the criticality of the technology and the risk involved so this is also the way out that you go with two three technologies or two three strategies you observe those strategies and select the best one so this is regarding the challenges in scale up and technology transfer mainly the scale up and technology transfer activity involves the utilization of the knowledge and utilization of the time also cost considerations are there as the scale up and technology activity has a great impact on the time required for the developed product to reach the market so these are the important parameters and considerations for successful scale up and technology transfer thank you for watching the video and please do like share and subscribe to this channel